Hello viewers, I did this one before, but I had to alter a few things and re-upload it, so here we go. Recently, many other YouTubers are coming out of the woodworks about how artillery needs to change. And I wanted to chip in on this discussion by giving a viewpoint that is overlooked in this whole discussion. Like Mono said in his recent video, artillery in its current form promotes spawn camping by recon squads or other players. If you know your way around artillery, you can have a massive impact on how the map is playing out. But recon is just a small part of the problem in public games. Let me take you through on what it's like to play and defend artillery in competitive Hell and Loose. In competitive Hell and Loose, you have highly skilled players manning the artillery guns, who know every little small detail and trick about playing artillery. For example, in our last game vs. Core, one of her tanks managed to do a truck snipe from all the way across the map, plus we had one of her artillery guns hit the correct spot with the correct timing to take out one of their transport trucks, which resulted in us having way more players inside the point to win the cap race for the middle point. This example might give you an insight in what a skilled artillery player can do. Now with the recent changes in update 12, the meta for competitive Hell at Loose is still settling in. Teams are trying out new things and different things all across the board. For example, multiple teams are utilizing recon differently and a lot of teams are also trying out new plays and tactics on how to deal with artillery. In the previous update it was already a mini game of its own within the game, only with this update, update 12, it went into overdrive on how to deal with artillery. Since the impact artillery has on the battlefield, you can't ignore artillery, and you have to deal with it somehow. And from here out, things can get a little ridiculous. At the start of each competitive game, most of the teams are scrambling to get their artillery defenses going. Usually involves a lot of people dropping supplies and so on. Everything that can be used to protect artillery will be used. Think of Belgian gates, bunkers, nodes, barbed wire, and even trucks are placed in such a position to defend artillery. You also got a few infantry players in there to stop the enemy pushing your artillery. Like I said, it's a mini game within the game, so this is all on the defensive side of artillery to counteract artillery. It's also crazy as in what teams are doing, get as much downtime on the artillery guns as they possibly can. The new main play to counteract artillery and what we're seeing in all the tournaments and leagues that are going on at the moment is by making clever use of the AT class. Teams are having AT players shoot well over 950 meter rockets into the enemy artillery. I'm not gonna go in depth on how this is done, but the idea is you have a few ammo crates and have an AT player shoot 950 meter plus with the Panzer Shrek. Once you get the technique down, you can shoot with pinpoint accuracy and kill the gunner with a rocket from Narnia. Worst part of this, there's no counterplay to it. If you turn one of your artillery guns at the AT players shooting you, you lose a valuable gun on the map. If you send in a few players to hunt them and clear them out, they just relocate somewhere else on the map, since this can be done from anywhere on the map as long as you get the distance right. Besides this, a well-placed AT gun or tank can also snipe the artillery from halfway across the map. On top of this, you also have a few players trying to poke holes in the artillery gunners. The amount of effort that goes into the artillery meta is absolutely ridiculous, and it shows even more that this needs to be sorted out. But this raises the question, how can you fix artillery and the subsequent rocket problem? Well, the rockets can be fixed easily, I reckon. Having a lower skybox or a bigger drop-off on the arc of the rocket might solve this. To solve the artillery, now that's a completely different story. Because I do think artillery is a fundamental part of the game. It adds a lot of immersiveness to the game and there's some other reasons why you need artillery. So in Mono's video he proposes three different kind of fixes. And these ones have been floated around before as fixes to artillery. First one being make it more expensive. And as he mentioned this doesn't fix the issue for several reasons. The second one is made by making it a commander ability, but I personally think the commander doesn't need an extra ability, since that role already got the recently added precision strike, and on top of that you've got the bombing run ability, also the commander is already juggling around resources to get heavies, airheads and other abilities on the board, so this is not the best fix. Personally I think one of the best solutions can be is to make the, either the artillery guns buildable, cost X amount of resources to be built or placed, 
and can be blown up by a satchel or something else to take them out and give them some down downtime. You can also combine this with an increased cost of the shells, reduce damage and maybe even add in a longer reload time. There is also a valid argument to be made for mortar teams that is also on the roadmap, but if they implement mortar teams they have to remove the artillery guns in my opinion. And if they do implement this, the balancing of mortar teams is going to be super tricky. You will have to limit the amount of mortar squads to one or two, like they did with recon, reduce the distance they can shoot at, uh, do something with the accuracy, and also have them impact the resources your team has available. Because else I foresee mortar teams becoming really, really strong. All in all, this shows something needs to change when it comes to artillery. And yes, it is a fundamental part of the game, and yes, a similar mechanic should exist in the game. Since it adds a lot to the immersion, but it also allows players a way to cap a point or stop Zerg rushes as we see in some public games with no artillery. Although in its current form it is not well implemented and needs to change. Let me know what you guys think when it comes to artillery or what a good solution would be. Leave a comment with your thoughts and I will see you in the next one.